Hello, my name is Mark. This is my video lecture about rationalizing denominator with complex numbers. Okay. So let's take a look. When I rationalize a denominator, I need to multiply by something that's going to cause this to go away. I want to get rid of the i. So using the difference of two squares, I multiply a plus b times a minus b. If I need to multiply by something that's going to cause those to go away, so in essence, I'm going to multiply by this. Okay, and when I do that, I get what? I get uh, 2 times 2, which is 4. And then 2 times 3i. 2 times the negative 3i. and then 3i times negative 3i okay, and the top it's just 2 times negative 3i I mean 2 minus 3i, okay and then you see the plus 6i and the minus 6i, those just go away okay and so really we're just left with 2 minus 3i in the top. And then 4 minus 9i squared. Well, i squared, I'm going to replace that with a negative 1. Okay, and so a negative times a negative, that's a plus. So that's 4 plus 9, which is 13. Okay. So all I'm doing there is my principles of the difference of two squares. Let's look at the next one. Okay. So same thing, I have a 3 minus 4i in the bottom, so I'm going to multiply by something. It's going to cause that to go away, so I'm going to multiply by 3 plus 4i. Excuse me. So I'm multiplying by 3 plus 4i. Okay, and when I do that, I'm just going to use the principle of different two squares. I already know in the de in the denominator, I'm going to have three squared. Okay, minus four i squared. In the top, I'm going to have two times three plus four i. Okay, and when I square 3, that's just 9. Nothing's changing in the numerator. Okay, and when I square 4i squared, well, that's 16i squared. I can replace i squared with the negative 1. Okay, negative times a negative, that's a positive, so that becomes 9 plus 16, which is 25. Okay, so that's that one. Alright, let's look at number 3 over here. Okay, so I have a 5i, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, I have a 5 over 3i. Okay, to rationalize this denominator, to get rid of the i's, you just multiply the top and bottom by a single i. I'm multiplying by an i here and an i here. And so 5i times i is 5i. And 3i times i is 3i squared. And so i squared is a negative 1. So that's uh, 5i over negative 3. And we usually like to write our negatives either off to the side or at the top. So that's going to be negative 5 thirds. Okay, let's look at the next one. 
same thing. You just multiply your top and bottom by an i. So 4 over 7, I'll multiply top and bottom by an i. So that gives me 4i over 7i squared. Okay. And then 7i squared, once again, is going to be negative 7. So just looking at the last one, this is going to be 4i over negative 4i over 7. Okay. Do the same thing to the bottom. Okay, we have. 3 over 4i, so I'll multiply the top and bottom by i. Well, that just gives me 3i times over 4i squared. Okay. And then i squared is a negative 1, so that's negative 3i. over 4. Okay. So this is my, my video lecture about rationalizing denominators with complex fractions. Look me online www.supergenius99.com. Thank you for listening.